Hey there, this is Blake Marar, broker with Scenic Sotheby's International Realty. Today we're at 46 Majestica. The purpose of this is to give you a cursory walkthrough of this property. Uh, it sits directly on the Gulf of Mexico in Seagrove Beach, Florida. Actually rents, and uh, as you can see, the name of the property is Jane's Addiction. Uh, one of my favorite bands growing up, but uh, let's just go ahead and check it out. This, uh, we're not gonna go real deep, but we're gonna give you a really good idea of what this home has to offer. It's directly on the beach. It's uh, got 60 feet in width. Uh, it's just less than 5,000 square feet. And we're gonna go really check this out one by one. So the home was built in 2005. It's, uh, it's original, uh, it's in good shape. And the people that originally built this home built it for a full-time residence and lived there full-time, lived here full-time. So one of the things that I think is especially uh, awesome about this is you've got the Gulf of Mexico in the background, uh, full-facing to really take advantage of the spacious views. As far as sitting, I'd say this is pretty spectacular. It's great for families, the ability to all be together. And uh, you'll see the motif is one that is, uh, I'd say, whimsical. I think that'd be fair. Um, so, what we have here is we've got um, a fireplace, we've got a lot of windows. Uh, Karen McCorder did the architectural plans way back when this house was finished, uh, probably finished the plans in 04 to 05. Uh, and he did great work, great work. We'll do a quick walkthrough of the kitchen. Kitchen's one of my favorite parts about this, which is it's got everything you want. Gourmet style, we've got a, a large range, all gas. We've got a pot filler, stainless hood. Plenty of cabinets. This material on this is actually a poured in place terrazzo, which is uh, fabulous. Uh, Undermounted sink that is uh, commercial grade. We've got a double oven, microwave, warming drawers, secondary sink, television to keep you company when you're cooking and having fun. You've got seating here as well for uh, those you love to hang out while you're cooking. And since the kitchen is such a great gathering place, I love that element of it. You've got side-by-side, -side, full size Sub-Zero, both refrigerator and freezer, and just a lot of cabinet spaces. While we're here, we'll take a quick look. Again, pantry, good size. There's a um, washer and dryer laundry area. And they really took this in, gave this uh, beds for the head. So you've got room for three here, adjacent, a powder room. And a um, little planner, little seating area here, exterior access, and um, what we have here is a garage, which is also really important, two car. And they use this really for one large owner closet. They park while they're here. They've got a golf cart, gets them around. This is a great location. It's another element that I'm uh, a big fan of is you're about two miles east of Seaside. And there's tremendous walkability to both retail and restaurants. That's a big plus, and in this case, they've taken it a step further with a golf cart. Um, let's go ahead and check out the outdoors. So what strikes me here is the volume. If you're looking straight up here. You've got some really nice volume here. Excellent seating area, planters with rosemary and whatnot. Um, place to eat, an umbrella to help you through that if you need it in the sun. And let's go look at the view. 
you know, walk out to the beach is obviously key if you're going to be directly on the Gulf. The Gulf is, uh, is active. It's a little, a little churned up. It's usually crystal clear and some light wave action. But let's look up at the house. It's great. So this area right here, this is a fire pit, usually seating all right here, but this is a nice platform that was put together as a gathering space closer to the Gulf. So uh, I'm sitting down, I've got flames cruising, I'm looking at the Gulf, I'm hearing the Gulf, I'm smelling the Gulf, it smells great. So to get an idea of the architectural interest in this house is, is good. Location here is, is spectacular. Directly on the Gulf, 60 feet of Gulf frontage and access to retail, dining and all, as I mentioned, is, is really good. If you look at the dining area, you've got pendants here and room for 10 to have a seat. Wine refrigerator, little closet. There is a half bath right here, as you can see. And um, here's the other thing. We have an elevator. So here we go. What's the elevator look like? So nobody really wants to ride the elevator, but if you ever need to, it's here. It's also good for luggage uh, and anything else that you're just moving up and downstairs. But you've got kitchen, living, dining, all on this level. So let's go upstairs. So we'll get straight to it. So the elevator arrives right here. HVAC closet here. Master bath. So through here, you've got the Gulf right here that you can see from the bathroom. Back to back double vanities and then a shower. Looks like fun. We've got jets for days. You get the full crack and crevice treatment right there. And then you've got the water closet here, a television and a soaking tub that you can enjoy the sound of the gulf from here. All right, so let's look at the actual bedroom itself. So you've got great gold fuse that we're gonna check out right outside here with its own balcony. We were just here. You've got great room for uh, sitting. You've got a couple of chaises out here. But just take a moment and take that in. Now, something that's back in style are offices. And this is quite the office. So you've got transom windows, really well appointed window um, with its own closet, but just room to kind of, if you need to work, you need to get you know, something handled, you've got the place to do it. We're gonna go check out the guest bedrooms. And if you notice, when we came in, you've got the, uh, the water feature here in the courtyard that we came in through, which I think is a really nice element. Uh, we've got another Gulf front bedroom. With a king size bed, seating here, television, single vanity, so all these bedrooms have ensuite baths. Right on the Gulf of Mexico. Got another bedroom here. That's, uh, you know, I, I think this is a queen. Could be a full. Got two bedside tables. 
Views of the Gulf. Another ensuite bath. Shower. Storage up top. And I'd say uh, we're going down. This would be the equivalent of a carriage house, but yet it's connected. But on the way to that carriage house, we have another bedroom. So this is the third one we've seen. Built in closet here. Got a shower, vanity, so we're all set here. And now we actually get to the carriage house, which has just got a little catwalk and it's done. So we've got a place to sit, enjoy, recreate, sit down. We've got a television and then look here. We've got uh, a bunk area, so we've got room for one, two, three, four, five, six, if we need it. And then up top, we have this loft sort of mezzanine area that has another place for uh, little people. Television, and then you can access, we're not gonna go down here, but this stairwell accesses the garage so if someone came pulled into the garage they could come up through here without coming to the main entrance so that's pretty spectacular i think and then we're going to go check out the top floor perhaps the main event so we have a wet bar refrigerator storage here and then The golf right here. So a couple of technical things. We're looking down at a standing seam metal roof, which is the best in this environment, of course. The decking is all Ipe, which uh, outlasts traditional decking uh, access here. You've got a lightning rod situation, which is, uh, you see this right here. You've got a full system for that. And, uh, and just, Outstanding views perched up to take in the Gulf of Mexico. It's really spectacular. The top 10 things I love about this home that I think really separate it is one, you've got a two car garage and you've got parking for six to eight. The view is second to none. The views are fantastic. The location situated directly on the Gulf of Mexico leaves nothing for the imagination. Two, I haven't talked about it, but there's a whole house generator that's also part of the house. So if you were to ever lose power, you're all set. The carriage house and accessibility from the garage. The outdoor space that we went over, the outdoor space I love, I think it's great gathering spaces. The kitchen, I like because it's fully equipped. Fully equipped gourmet, so you've got really everything you can want. The second to last thing is you've got a master bedroom directly on the Gulf, and you also have a guest bedroom directly on the Gulf. And then you have one stack behind that that offers views as well. And then I'd say the last thing is that upstairs, deck overlooking the Gulf, I think is just gives you elevation so that you can really have some 360 views. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Till then, next time, my name is Blake Marar with Scenic Sotheby's International Realty. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch it. Have an awesome day.